Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> cool, cool stuff back in the MTV unplugged so, realm of reality. This got this got really requested lately uh, yeah. after we checked out uh, Irfan. Um, Mohamed. Mohamed Irfan. And uh, I think this is one of his compositions uh, and obviously sung by Arijit. So let's give it a watch. I also do want to say I am really interested in finding out more about Arijit's classical side of yeah. the singing because I think the only one that we've actually checked out as you know pure classical is La Al Ishka. Yeah. So if you do, if there's any more requests like those, do put them in the comment uh, thread below and we will check them out. Okay. Let's have a look. I love this freaking stage. Mm -hmm. Lucky handful of people that got to watch this live. Yeah, I, I would pay so much money, dude. Oh. For this type of environment. A hundred percent. Some of you have actually been there and told me all about it. We'll never get tired of listening to this man. See how every time he sings, everyone just smiles. It's just, it's just one of those moments where like your whole reality changes. Did you see that shit? Like yeah, everyone is smiling. They like yeah. they smile. Look, smiles, smiles. Little in smile, the back. smile, smile. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Everybody, look, they're back in vocalist. Because he eats CDs as well. Yeah, he does. Sorry, sorry. I also find that he sounds better live. What was that, sir? How do you even finish on that note? What is that accident? <laughs> no, what? The what? Fuck? Sorry, this will be the last time. <laughs> That's so cool. Nice. So cool. Okay, dog. A ukulele with like 57 strings. Okay, I love. Can we have a moment for the guitar? The guitarist is using like a proper, just handwritten notes. There's no score here. I love really? that. Look, look, it's a hand like the ones my dad does. <laughs> <laughs> like the type of notes that you do, like normal, yeah, like a normal person. <laughs> you know what? That, this is such a weird mix of things, of sounds. Like it's, it's like a. It's, it's like it. alternative, it's obviously very alternative, but um, the the backing vocalist yeah. is somewhat gospelish. It, they are. Yeah, it's yes. so weird, right? And actually, that rhythm, that syncopated rhythm, it's very folkish, yeah. South American folk. Yeah. Also, overall, also popular in the West, in the in the US overall. Yes. That type of folk. It's very folk. Yeah. Ish related, and yeah. I actually really like because it's not. The, the the progression I would have oh, I would never imagine that imagine yeah, from don't. this I would from never this imagine song. that this is awesome I love this guy life dude oh it's like a mini bass what what is that dude I see what? so many <laughs> instruments being played in the Indian music industry that I didn't even know existed consistently what is that what in the fuck what do you call that every Eva? time I think I know a little bit about music help me out we always check out something from the, you know, from the, actually just the Eastern music industry. And I'm always fucking mind blown. Yep, like yep. if you haven't checked out a latest podcast uh, of Japanese rock and metal, mm -hmm. it's like some of the arrangements those guys come up with, with some of the instrumentalization, which yeah. is, you know, uh, native from uh, Japan. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, is it, that's what I love about it though. You're learning, you're discovering so much stuff that you didn't know even existed before. Yeah. So right here, you're being exposed to this whole idea of new instruments that could be implemented in commercial 
universal Sentence. music yeah. that is just so cool. That's why I, I, I like this. Go I to, love. Go to that podcast, and I think it's towards the end. Yeah. Where we check out uh, Evanescence. Evanescence. Uh, Evanescence. Is that how you pronounce it? Evan- ev- it would be Evanescence, right? It wouldn't be Evanescence. I don't think so. I don't it's know. It's just the word essence. It yeah. would be pronounced essence, right? Dude. I don't know. Well, you know that band, right? They're really fucking famous. Amy Lee with Waga... Wagaki Band. Wagaki Band. And uh, it's fucking mental. Like, yeah. if you enjoy good music, you'll enjoy that shit. It and doesn't plus, it's matter. Evanescence or Evanescence, however you pronounce it. But just go to that and then see the instrument. See what I mean? Oh, it's, it's mental. It's fantastic. But yeah, again, freaking cool, dude. Yeah, he's playing it like a bass. Sounds like a bass. Nice. <laughs> Yes, this listen. is why I love listening to the live arrangements, man. It's fucking some unbelievable. I know probably the, the live the the studio version is gonna be you know very different, um, and I do want to leave that for a podcast. Yes. By the way, where we check out like the lives and then the studio. Versions. I agree. Um, I don't know how that would work. Copyrighted speaking wise. situation. It, yeah, but I think we should be okay. But that, I want to leave that for a podcast. That's why we haven't checked them out yet. Yes, I actually believe that there is such. Hey, you know how I said that I prefer, like I think he sounds better live. Yeah. It's because I think his humanity, he like the humanity aspect in his vocals really get amplified in a live setting, which like you can really it, like touch the essence. It's tactile, yeah. Yeah, like you can touch the essence of his craft, of his singing, um, as well as the the connection that he's able to create in that in in those environments. I feel like he feeds off of the natural interaction so that you right? get yeah that you get in this environment i mean what he can create alone in a studio setting by himself like the concert that he did in facebook yep. um it's such a cool thing because it's like the maximum expression of himself um capitalized in this environment but when you see them in this intimate with real people with with musicians and backing vocalists and a crew of people and an audience there is a completely different shift in the energy that he's able to feed off of and i love that because it's so human and i yeah. think it amplifies the the songs it, it, uh, like it gives more essence it also comes them. to personal taste right i'm sure yes, some of you yes. may like like the studio versions better some which of, you are know, such productions though yeah. some yeah. of us may enjoy the live ones so it, it's really it, it's good that an artist can be that versatile Absolutely. and provide goods for everyone yeah 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 <laughs> Cajon, right? Uh-huh. Um, and you do have the minor percussion plus the, the drummer. The drummer, I don't think he actually has sticks. He might have brushes. Brushes. I think it sounds um, like brushes, yeah. Because there, there is some um, light. It could be the cajon, like the box. Um, <laughs> yeah, Shut so I, I, it could also just be the, the checkers. Checkers. I don't know how you call them in English. Yeah, checkers. Checkers, right? Yeah. Well, she. Not with that che. But like, yeah. It's basically that sound. 
So they're supposed the to shake them. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know where everything's coming from. Let me keep here. Put maybe uh, put it back. Yes, yes, sure. I just would like to say how cool are those backing vocalists? Jokes. They sound like a whole choir. Is only two of them. Yeah, yeah. Like, how do you do that? I feel like I I don't think the guy from the ca in the cajon is playing that much. I think he's just tapping lightly. I don't think he's doing much. He's singing along though. Is the shakers out here? Look. Yeah, but. I think he has brushes. Oh, what a guy. Yeah, yeah. he does. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, he has metal brushes. What the fuck? Woo! <laughs> ah, I love him. He's such a cool dude. He's like... <laughs> I saw one that. of his. Uh, <laughs> Uh, where he's like, oh well, thank you. So I think it's what song is it? Is that tung tung tak tragun tak tak tung tung tak? I know what song it is, but I don't know the name. I think it's Tumi Ho. I think it's that one. But and at the end, like at the end of the show, he says something like, oh well, oh I'm so happy I finally got to play here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And they said, because I think it was time I played it. And everyone like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, and he's then, like, and then I just, nothing else to I say. I think they, they wouldn't call this show out. They wouldn't call out. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, okay. I want to say thanks to everyone. I really mean it. It's amazing. Yeah, all right. that's it. <laughs> that's that's it. Like, you know what I mean? He's such a nice, <laughs> like, <laughs> what normal now, buddy? guy. Yeah, yeah. What a nice I fella. love that. See, that's what I mean. Like, the human aspects of his personality really get highlighted in these environments. Awesome. And they're so fun to watch. Anyways, this was great. Let us, let us know your thoughts, guys. And yeah, perhaps let, let's check out some of more of his classical sort of a style of, of his singing. Because I think I did make that mistake and I didn't say that he's not a classical singer by trade. Which I guess, by trade, he is. Mm -hmm. Um he probably is a classical singer before he would be an alternative singer. Yeah, I would think it, so. That would probably be the progression. Yeah. Um, but it would be very hard to start out alternative and then pick up classical. Ooh. Possible. But We saw people like Phil Collins go take that manner uh, with musical theory, right? Yes, yes. He, he... But but I think the, the, the whole uh, aspect of mu Indian music classical music yeah. is just so, so deep yeah yeah and so it's I, so deep that even if you picked it up today five years down the line time. you wouldn't still be even scratching the surface yeah. so i know? think it, by trey he would be a, yeah. a classical singer first so i didn't make that mistake uh, perhaps yeah let's check out some more of that um music and bye -bye. that's right goodbye hey we're back because so, yeah we I, forgot the lyrics I forgot to do the lyrics um <laughs> and it means again love Again, love, yes. Uh, and it goes something like this. Whenever I came near you, I got a piece, or I got peace. I do apologize if somebody, it, it may not do us justice uh, to the actual lyrics. You know, these are translations provided by people. Um, uh -huh. And I don't know how strongly curated they are. Sometimes they are literal translations, but it, I think it's better than nothing. Absolutely. Uh, the one I had kept forgetting, I got that existence. When the weather of sorrow came, I remembered you. Uh -huh. When I was scared with loneliness, I remembered you. Oh, nice. When the weather of sorrow came. When the weather of sorrow... Because it doesn't come to stay, it comes to pass. Like everything else, like a season, season in life. That's right. Right, that is a beautiful... Very wise sentence, actually. Sentence, yeah, continue. Yeah, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Not about the winter can be a very long uh, and, and forever-seeming yeah. season. Be yeah, a, a forever-lasting season, even though spring always comes. So you and... look for hope. So That's I remembered right. you, the sunshine, my love. When the weather of sorrow came. That's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, okay, heart, yes. be steady. You're going to fall in love again. Oh, heart, stop here itself. You're going Beautiful to fall in love, love again. Man. How it has happened, I don't know. I don't know. Old heart be steady and it goes on to repeat itself. And that's that. Then it goes, the day on which your house is there, I have often passed from there. Probably this was in the heart that maybe I get you. Who knows? What is this series or story? Don't know. I don't know. 
Right, so it, it, it is this kind of a... It's like writing a story. It's like passing through the chapters. So it's a bit like a third third person, person. narrative okay. in the whole aspect. It's like when you've, you're done with a, with a chapter in your life and then you get the chance to read it back. Okay. Because I think this is like... And he's utilized that as fuel to keep going. That's right. But preparing his heart because he's about to fall in love. That's right, that's Once right. Uh, then he goes on to repeat himself, oh, heart, be steady, you're going to fall in love again. Um, and then he proceeds to the, I think, the last uh, verse. When there is nothing in between, then why does the heart knit your dreams only? Oh, I love that! So the, so the heart is the creator of all things when it comes to you. Oh, that's beautiful! I tried I tried for it to forget you, but even that couldn't be possible. But what is this matter? Be... Don't know, I don't know. Oh, right? heart, be steady. Well, when it's, I guess, yeah, I guess when you're in love, oh. you sort of feel... Hello. Hello. I guess, I guess when you're in love, it probably, it probably does feel like that, um... Like you can't, it's like a feeling you can't really fight. Yes, but you are still telling yourself, hold on a little lo longer. Don't don't throw yourself out in the deep end. Just, just yes, yet. Jet. Yeah, like right. hold on to it for a little bit longer. Because I think that's that's the fear. I think that's always the the feeling that comes with the acknowledge the the knowledge of of you realizing that you're falling in love. So that whole realization comes with okay, let's just. Try to keep the rational brain on for as long as we possibly can. Let's let the story we... unfold itself. That's right. We... Let's keep writing this chapter. It's yep. just beginning. So, and I love that sentence that uh, that says, "Then why does the heart knit, knit your dreams only?" I love that because it's the whole idea of building something from scratch. It's like constructing something that wasn't there before, right. and you're creating it through uh, emotions the feeling itself is igniting that motion okay. i love that that's well, a really cool let us know what you thought about it and uh, most importantly um if you do have any other information do let us know in the comment section below we try and read every comment check it out goodbye